In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to create this Flexbox header in Divi. So as you can see here, it's changing its size based on the screen size. And this is done all using Flexbox. If you're new here, my name is Mac and my job is to show you how to design awesome looking websites in WordPress. And if you'd like a free course on how to become a web designer, the link to that is in the video description below. Let's get started. All right, so I have a website here that has Divi installed. So the first thing we need to do is to create our menu. So to do that, we need to come over here to appearance and then go to menus. So you wanna give your menu a name. So I've just called mine menu and I've added some pages to it like I did here. But in your case, let's say you haven't created any pages yet to add to your menu. You just, you just wanna come over here, select all the pages that are, that are on your website or whatever pages you want to add to your menu, and then click on Add to Menu. So this is what happens. You can also rearrange them like that. So once you've had your menu all set, you want to make sure over here on Primary Menu, you click here on this check mark, and then click on Save Changes. Now let's take a quick look and see if our menu is now visible. So I'm going to open my website here in a new tab, and you can see here that my menu is visible. Okay. So let's now go to the theme builder. So I'm gonna come over here to Divi, hover over here, click on theme builder. Next, you want to make sure now that you create a header that is global, that pretty much goes across the whole website. So I'm gonna click here on add global header, build global header. So the first thing we're going to do is to add our column structure. So I'm gonna click on add new, and we're gonna add a single column. And in this column, we're going to add an image. I'm gonna select that. Now, for our image, let me just snap this over to the left so we can see what we're working with. So for this image here, we want to first delete this and then click on this little icon here and set our site logo. So our site logo here is this Divi logo. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and add. Next, we also want to add our menu. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, search for my menu module and select it. So notice that by default, this has gone in and selected my menu that I created. But if I click here on this drop down, if I had more menus, I could go ahead and select them here. But since we have our main menu here, that's fine. We have that now selected. Now let's work on our design. So I'm going to start off here with my section settings, go to background, and let's start by adding a background color. So I'm going to add that as my background color. And I also need to make sure that the spacing here is sorted because our spacing doesn't look great there. So in fact, let's start with the light color first so we can see what we're working on. I'm going to come over here now to design, spacing, and you can see here we're at 6%. So let's reduce this all the way down to about 1% for now and then save. Okay, so these things are stacked. You can see our logo here and our menu are stacked in this column. So what we need to do now is to click on row settings and click on this gear icon to go into our main row or that single row that we have. And then you want to come over here to advanced, custom CSS, and then in the main element, you want to add in this code. It's called display flex. Add a colon and then type in flex and then semicolon. So straight away, you can see now that these are now side by side. So that's how Flex works. So Display Flex uh, just makes sure that uh, it activates uh, the Flexbox uh, way of working with our design. Okay, so now that we have this all selected, uh, there's also one thing that we may need to do here, and that is you want to make sure everything is all aligned center. So I'm going to go to Align Items, colon, and then Center. Oops. Um, make sure that you're typing this in small letters. Okay, great. So everything is aligned center now. And I'm going to go ahead now and save. Over here, we can see that our column here has a lot of spacing. Let's go ahead and address that. I'm going to come over here, go to design. And then over here in my spacing, I'm going to make sure that this is set to zero. So now you can see it's way closer to the top. So in my row settings as well, I need to come over here now to my sizing. So for my maximum width, I'm going to set this to 100. 100% and then my width here is going to be 80%. But of course, if you want this closer to the edge, you can just drag this all the way down here to maybe even about 90 so that everything is way close to the edge. All right, so I'm going to click on save. 
The next step now is to work on my logo. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, go to design, sizing. So for my logo, at the moment, the width here is set to 100%. So let's bring this down a little bit to about uh, 4 maybe 4%. So this is going to depend on how big our logo is, okay? So sometimes it may be me So sometimes it may be that you want to bring it down to 4% or depending on the logo it could be 10%, okay? So just play around with this and see how what works. Okay, so I'm going to save that and then I'm going to come over here to the right, click on this gear icon. So the first thing I need to do to my menu now is to remove the background. So I'm going to make sure that this is set to transparent and now you can see that is gone. Next, I'm going to come over here to design, menu text, and I want to set my size to 1.2 EM. So it's slightly bigger. Over here on the letter spacing, I'm going to set this to, let's say, 1 and then all caps. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. The next step now is to come over here to sizing. So at the moment, our width here needs to be, uh, let's say, 50%. And then I need to align my module to the right. And then I'm also going to come back over here to my menu text and just make sure that this is aligned to the right as well so that it's all edge to edge. Let's go ahead now and save. Okay, so for now, I'm going to save this and then close out of here because I need to add my own logo. So I'm going to come over here to theme options. But before I do that, I need to save all changes to make sure that I don't lose my uh, settings. Come over here to theme options. So this is what you would need to do if you want to add your own logo. So I'm going to come over here to upload and I have a logo here. But if you didn't have it in your media library, you want to come over here to upload files and then find it on your computer. So I'm going to select my logo here, set as logo, save changes. So let's take a look and see what our website looks like at the moment. So there we go. So, so far, so good. But my logo here is way too small. I need to fix that. So I'm going to come back over here, go to my theme builder. And this is where I was mentioning that you want to make sure that your logo is the right size. So another problem that you may have is the inability to go in and select your logo here because everything is in the way. So what you want to do is to click here on these three little dots. And then you want to come over here to the bottom, to your layers. And then you can now go in and select whatever it is you want to select. So I want to go to the image right now. And now I have my image settings. So let's go ahead now and adjust the size by now coming over here to sizing. Okay, so at the moment it's on 4%. Let's increase that to about 10% and then save. So now that we can see everything is all centered, because we have a light logo here, we need to have a dark background. So let's go ahead and address that. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, go to my background, and I'm going to choose a dark color like that and then save. Next, we also want to change this menu here to make the text lighter so it's easier to read. So I'm going to come over here to my menu settings, go to design, menu text, and then you can set this to your active color. So I'm going to set this to a light gray, and then I'm going to scroll down to my menu color, and then I'm going to set that to white. Okay, so now we can see that this is a white color and everything is now really standing out. Now I can go ahead and save, and then I can close out of here. So the question now is, does this work in um, mobile devices? So let's try, let's try this out. I'm going to refresh this page, and I'm just going to drag this over like that. And we can see now that, yeah, it kind of works, but we do need to go in and fix the sizes, okay? Because this logo now is way too small, but our menu here is, you know, it's okay, but this is way too small. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come back over here. Again, I'm going to come to the bottom here, choose my layers. So what we need to do now is to come over here to our image, design, sizing. So at the moment, we're on 10%. So let's go ahead now and choose our tablet. And we can see here on the tablet that the logo is way too big. So let's set this to 20. Let's see what happens. And that looks okay at 20%. And... That looks fine as well. Okay, let's go to our tablet. And here it's way too big. So let's bring it down a little bit. So I think we can go with 34%. That's for our mobile. But what I've noticed here is when it comes to our padding here, it's, a way, it's way too big on those devices. So let's go back in and fix that. I'm going to come over here to design, 
and then we're going to go to spacing. Now let's go into our tablet and we can see here that we have 10%. That's way too much. So let's bring this down a little bit, maybe to about 4%. And then for the phone, I think 4% is fine. So now everything is looking great. Finally, we need to address our drop down here because our drop down is very, very important. So I'm going to go now and save and let's now work on our drop down menu. So I'm going to come over here to my menu and then we're going to come over here to advanced drop down menu. So here the trick is you just want to make sure that the drop down is a similar color to the background color here. So for our line color, I'm not too bothered about that. So I'm going to go ahead and just disable that for my background color. I'm going to go for that. And then for my menu text color and active color, that should be okay. And then finally for the icons, come over here to my icons for my shopping cart. I'm going to make sure it's white because we are on a dark background. The same applies for my search icon. If I do decide to add it and my hamburger icon. Now I can hit save, save, and let's test this out. Now I'm going to close out of here like that, save all changes. And then I'm going to refresh. And now you can see that this is now looking great. So now we can see that that is looking great on all devices. So you may be asking, what's the point of doing all of this? Well, the point is you don't have to create two menus for your menu to work for mobile devices and also for uh, tablets. So by doing this with uh, the Flexbox, it's way, way easier. Because in the previous uh, episodes, I was showing you how to create two menus, and that's adding a lot of uh, code onto your website, making it slower. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments box below, and I'll do my best to respond to them. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.